Hello everyone, welcome to solve this math Olympiad algebra problem and here we have x square plus y square and its whole square root equals to 613 and we solve this problem for the values of x and y. So here uh, in the solution of this question here we uh, just use uh, the uh, geometry uh, concept. Uh, here we just use the geometry concept or Pythagoras theorem. Uh, in order to solve this problem or in order to find the values of x and y so i hope so uh, the solution of this problem is very interesting and you and it is the unique solution you cannot find this type of solution anywhere uh, so uh, you must watch this video uh, at the end so uh, here uh, the very first step we are going to do is here first we take uh, uh, squaring on both of the sides of this equation so that when you take squaring it will be written as square root of x square plus y square and its whole square equals to 613 and its whole square so now in the next step you see here these two and square root are gone and here you get x square plus y square equals to 613 and its whole square and now here you focus uh, in, in the right hand side we have this is 613 square so now we just put here z equals to 613 so when you put this 613 equals to z then uh, this equation is written as x square plus y square equals to z square so here uh, if uh, I can just draw uh, a right triangle so this is the our right triangle in which we have uh, this side is our x this side is our y and this side is our z this is the our right angle okay so uh, you see here this is uh, a right triangle and in according to this uh, right triangle we know that x square plus y square equals to z square be the Pythagoras theorem okay because Pythagoras theorem is a hold on a right triangle so this is the Pythagoras theorem and we have the value of this z is 613 so here we use this concept of Pythagoras theorem uh, we find the value of x and y so that now here uh, we take uh, some uh, temporary values uh, or arbitrary values of x y and z and uh, we can uh, we can assign the value of x and y x y and z according to the Pythagoras theorem okay so here uh, we just take uh, our x is equals to a and we take y equals to uh, x square uh, y equals to a square minus 1 over 2 and we take z equals to a square plus 1 over 2 here we choose these values of x y and z in this way it is satisfied over this Pythagoras theorem okay so uh, so that we take this y equals to a square minus 1 over 2 and we take this z equals to a square plus 1 over 2 and we take this x is equals to a so uh, if you take these values of x and y and z you can clearly check that it is satisfied this Pythagoras theorem okay so here uh, the next step you see uh, that uh, uh, we have the value of z is 613 so we substitute this value of z here uh, so this equation is implies that we put the value of z here it is 613 equals to a square plus 1 is divided by 2 so now we move this 2 in the left hand side and it is written as 613 multiplied by 2 equals to a square plus 1 and now uh, here you have 613 times 2 becomes 1226 and here we move this plus 1 to the left hand side it will becomes minus 1 and this whole equals to a square so when you subtract 1226 minus 1 it will becomes uh, uh, 12 and 25 equals to a square 
so uh, we know that uh, this is 1225 uh, is equals to 35 whole square we write this 1225 equals to 35 whole square and now uh, in order to find the value of a we need to take the square root on both of the sides and you see that these two and square root are gone and here you get the value of a equals to these two and square root are gone and we clearly get the value of a equals to 35 so here we write the plus minus sign but we know that our a is the side length of this right triangle and side length cannot be negative it is always positive so that we neglect the negative value and we just choose here the positive value okay so uh, a equals to 35 means that the value of x becomes here 35 okay so now uh, we substitute again the value of a in, in this equation and we easily get the value of y so that our second equation uh, which involves y is equals to a square minus 1 divided by 2 so now we substitute this value of a here and it will be written as 35 square minus 1 is divided by 2 and here we need some simplifications and we easily get the value of y so we have uh, this is y equals to 35 square and 35 square equals to 1225 minus 1 divided by 2 and uh, here this term is equals to 1224 divided by 2 and 1224 divided by 2 is clearly get the value of y is 612 so that uh, finally we have the value of y is 612 and the value of x is 35 so these are the two given values of x and y and this is the final answer and now uh, here we just uh, verify these values of x and y so uh, to verify these values here we just need to copy down the given question statement so that given question statement is uh, x square plus y square equals to 613 and now we substitute these values of x and y here and we check is the left hand side is equals to right hand side or not so first we put the value of x and it is 35 so when you substitute it here it will becomes 35 square plus y square and the value of y is 612 square and its whole square root equals to 613 and here we need uh, some simplification and you have 35 square equals to 1225 612 equals to 37 4 5 and double 4 and its whole square root equals to 613 so here we just check is this equals to 613 okay so when you add these two values it is equals to 375 and 769 square root is we check is this equals to 630 so when you take the square root of this term we easily get it is equals to 613 so this shows that 613 is equals to 613 this means that the values of x and y is satisfied our given question statement so this is the final answer of this question and thank you so much for watching this video please subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos